Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another haul. I have bought quite a few new things that I wanted to share with you. Um, this is not so much a review because I have not used these products. They're all totally new to me. So I just wanted to show you what I bought. And so you can expect some discussion about these products in upcoming videos, but I did want to share some of this stuff with you because I'm wearing it on my face. Okay, first things first, I wanna tell you the earrings that I'm wearing that I also wore in the last video, people keep asking me about my earrings. I, the, like every earring, I, I have like three pairs of like exciting earrings and they're all things you can't get. These are old bobble bar. The ones that I wore in a previous video were Stella and Dot. I don't think they make them on Stella and Dot anymore. If I have something that I can link, I will link it for you, I promise. Um, but if I don't link it, it's because they don't make it anymore. Like I just don't buy new clothes in like new costume jewelry earrings very often because how often am I wearing this stuff, y'all? Like I, I know that people like Miss Gold Girl and like Lisa J are able to like constantly be linking new clothes and jewelry, but I don't buy new clothes and jewelry because you know, I'm in scrubs every single day and I never look like I look today, really, ever, unless I'm filming a, filming a video for you. So I will link what I can, I promise, in future videos. And certainly if I do buy new things that you can get, like I'll let you know about it in the video. Um, but today I bought a bunch of cream products. You guys know that I'm having a cream product moment. By the way, if you're new here, please subscribe. Join this family of lovely, lovely ladies who like to talk about makeup for women who are 40 and over and like pretty natural makeup. I mean, we like shimmer here on this channel. We definitely like shimmer and glitter, but only sometimes. We also have a job in a hospital, and so I can't wear that kind of makeup all the time. So I also like really natural makeup, and there's a lot of discussion on this channel about natural makeup, but also Saturday night and party makeup. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, and without any further ado, I'll get into the video. Okay, you guys, the first thing that I hauled is actually not a cream product, but I just wanna get it out of the way because I actually have used this before, and it is is the baby foot exfoliating foot peel. And the reason I got this is because I try to do this twice a year. My feet get very, very dry. And so what I love about this is they're like little booties and you put your feet in it. It's got some different kinds of acids in it. You leave it for an hour. I leave it a little bit longer because I really want my feet to be exfoliated for the summer. And what you'll see happening over the next two weeks is literally your skin will peel off in sheets. It's a little bit freaky. I mean, it's like a snake. What is it called when a snake's skin comes off? That's what it's like. It's like your skin is literally peeling off your feet, but I kind of love it because like, how else are you gonna exfoliate your feet so well? It's such a great product. I've recommended this to quite a few people. I've recommended it to guys that I know. Um, I make it sound like I'm like a college student and I know all these guys. I've recommended it to husbands of my friends. Like when we somehow, I was talking to a friend's husband and there I, I was telling him about it because he was telling me he was getting a pedicure to get all the dead feet off of his skin. And I was like, you don't need to get a pedicure. You can just use baby foot. And there's actually a men's version of this. So I'll link that below too. That's how I know that because I had the discussion with a friend's husband. My husband just would never use this because he just does not care enough about his feet. And that's no shade on him. Like he's an awesome husband and like a wonderful, handsome man, but he just doesn't care if his feet have like a little bit of callus on him, but I do. And so I want my feet to look okay for sandals. And so I highly recommend this. You should all be getting this before the summer so that your sandal feet look beautiful and summer ready. And I do have a new pair of sandals that I'm gonna go run and get and show you before this video is out because that is a haul too and I'm really excited about them. But first, let's talk makeup. Okay, the first thing I got is the foundation that I'm wearing on my skin. You guys, I'm so sleep deprived right now. I'm like completely loopy. That's why I'm so like hyper. Um, the first thing I got is the Westman Atelier foundation. That is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. So this was a khaki recommendation. And then I proceeded to do a lot of research on this product before I bought it. It is a clean beauty product. It does not have any of the like bad things in it. I don't care about that stuff. I don't, I don't think that silicones are bad for you. I don't think that any of that stuff is bad for you. I think that I'm more concerned probably where makeup is made to make sure there's no like cyanide in the makeup. But I don't think that like, you know, a lot of the things we use as preservatives keep makeup for longer. So I'm okay with those preservatives. Now, these clean beauty brands probably don't use those preservatives and therefore their makeup products are probably not gonna last as long as your non-clean beauty makeup products. So keep that in mind. But this Westman Atelier Foundation Stick is a clean beauty product. It is what I have on my face, as you can see, my skin is incredibly glowy. It's almost too glowy. 
I mean, it looks really good on camera, I have to say, but in real life, it's maybe a touch too glowy. Like I maybe need to powder. When I put this on this morning, basically this morning, when I put this on an hour ago, after I took a shower, after I didn't sleep all last night because I was up doing C-sections and epidurals all night, um, when I put it on, I rubbed it in with my fingers. I think I probably put too much, um, but I basically just put a little here, a little here, a little here. I think you should just put this where you need it. It is very, very skin-like, but I think that it has a very dewy finish. I think this product is gonna be fantastic on a dry skinned or um, combination skin person. I think if you are combination skin though, you're really gonna wanna powder. So what I did is I just like took my powder and I powdered under my eyes. I powdered like the, the part of my cheek that's right here where my finger is, my nose, my forehead, my chin, and I just left the cheeks um, dewy, which I really like. I also put on highlighter because I really wanted it to be like super, super glowy today. And it is, I mean, I really achieved what I was going for. I think my skin looks very, very healthy, but for sure I will have to powder through the day if I don't want to look like an oil bag for sure. For sure. This is a very expensive stick. It is $68 for this foundation stick. And actually what happened to me is in the snowstorm, the one that I ordered got lost. So I had to tell Sephora to send me another one. They were really nice. They did, they sent me another one. Um, but yeah, the one I ordered got lost in the mail. And I mean, I don't know, maybe it'll show up six months from now, but the shade that I got is Atelier One. So for reference, I am Atelier One. I think this is the perfect shade for my skin. I really think that if you are going for a natural, non-matte, um, very skin-like, foundation, this is going to be your friend. I think that this foundation is going to be fantastic for people with mature skin. It is not settling into my lines whatsoever. I also didn't put a ton, but I don't think you want to put a ton. I think you just want to put it where you need it. Um, you know, this is not a full on review. I've only worn it a few times, but so far it's not settling into my lines, but it is incredibly dewy. So keep in mind, if you are oily, you're probably not going to love this product. So that is the first foundation I hauled. The second thing I got was another one of the Pretty Fresh foundations. Remember I had the original one that I got in 3W and I thought it was too fair for me. So I hauled the 4N, which was the next one up. And maybe ColourPop has something in between this, but Ulta just had these two shades. And I feel like, I feel like the Fair 4N is too pink for me. So this one is the 3W and this is the 4N. I'm sure you can see that this one is definitely more yellow, more warm, and this one is definitely more pink. Now, maybe if I mix them, it will be exactly my color. Maybe I need to try that. The thing about mixing them and having to buy two is then you've just bought a $30 foundation. You're basically at high-end foundation prices, but I have to say mixing those two does look like my color which is kind of what I thought. I thought that the 3W was too light and I thought that the 4W was too pink. But if you mix them, it, it, it is probably the correct color for me. So, um, you know, I knew I was gonna have to order another shade. I'll see, I'll probably mix them and see how they look. And if I think that I can make them work, I'll keep them. If I don't, I'll probably just keep this one and return this one um, to Ulta because I can make this one work. The one that's warmer, that's 3W, I can make it work with bronzer. But pink, I usually try not to get things that look too pink on me. It just, it doesn't work for my skin tone at all. I don't, I have some pink in my skin, but my undertone is definitely, definitely yellow. Okay, the next thing that I have on my face today, so I put the Westman Atelier Foundation. It's very luxe, by the way, you guys. It's very heavy and it's got a magnetic closure and you can just twist it up. So lovely, beautiful packaging. Um, the next thing that I have on my face is the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. And I, I really like this. The reason that I really like it is because it's got a little bit, it's a bronzer with a little bit of a cool leaning tone. It's not orange and it's not red. It is definitely a bronzer that's got a little bit of gray in it. And so I like it for, you know, I kind of put it, today I actually didn't put it on my cheeks. Today I put it on my forehead and I also put it on my nose. I used my BK 108 to put it on my nose like this. I basically just dipped it in and I did this on my nose with this beautiful, soft, wonderful BK brush. And then on my forehead, I took the BK 107, dipped it in and I put it on my forehead. But you could also use the smaller BK to do everything. I love this brush because you can use it for it's small enough definitely to contour your nose, but it's also small enough, like I have a kind of small forehead, I don't have a big forehead, 
to um, give your forehead a little bit of color as well. I really do like the texture of this bronzer. I'm gonna swatch it for you. By the way, that's the color that is true to color. It is a cool toned bronzer. It is, they do have one that's cooler toned for this that is specifically made for contouring. But I really do feel that in the world of bronzers, this is a more cool tony bronzer, which is actually for sure my preference. So I really do like this so far, great product. And then the other thing on my cheeks that I have is the Westman Atelier um, blush stick in the shade Petal. I think that it is bright enough for you guys to see, but I can put a little bit more on and do a little bit of a demo for you. Basically what I did today is I just bounced it on my cheeks like this. And I don't feel like you can put too much of this because I think it's really, really easy to blend out. And then I just dabbed it khaki style. She's like taught me how to use cream product into my cheeks and it just gives this gorgeous, beautiful glow. It's got very much the same finish as the foundation. It is very, very, very glowy. If you are a super duper oily person, you probably won't like this, but I think if you're combo and you powder the center of your face and you want a little bit of um, a healthy, dewy look on your cheeks, you will like this a lot. So I just blended it in. I actually put my Becca highlighter, my cream, my liquid highlighter a little bit on my hand and put that on my cheeks as well to give me this really, really glowy look. But I actually do love it. I think it is so, so pretty. I think my cheeks look very healthy, very dewy. And I will say, I do feel like I have a little bit of texture, not texture. You can see my pores a little bit here. You can't see it on this camera, but you can see it. Let me see if I can come up really close to the camera and you guys can see. In the spirit of transparency, can you guys see my pores? I know that's probably not the best picture of me ever, but I want you guys to be able to see my pores. Um, you can definitely see the pores on my cheek because I'm using such a dewy product. It, you know, when you're far away, you can't see it. And certainly on camera, you can't see it. But if you're a person who like absolutely despises the look of pores, you may not love these products because I think generally matte products make your pores less noticeable. I really think they do. And I think that if you're gonna use these products and you don't wanna see your pores here, you need to powder in this section and keep these products to the outer part of your face where you really don't have pores. I don't have texture on my face, but right here by my nose, I do have pores. We talked about the pores in another video. I don't think that one's up yet, but I have a big crater pore like right here. If anybody knows what to do about that, please leave it in the comments below. If there's some kind of laser treatment I can do, I know I'm a doctor, but I'm not a dermatologist and I do not know what kind of laser treatment I need to get rid of a crater pore on my face and I hate it. Okay, I digress. Let's continue. The other bronzer that I got was the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I really do like this. I watched Lisa J do a little tutorial with this and she is a makeup artist and I am not. So I'm, I'm very comfortable telling you that I just followed what she did. And basically what she did is she just dotted this on her cheeks dotted it on her forehead and then like put it on her nose. It seems so dark when it comes out. Like it looks much, much deeper than the Fenty one, but it blends beautifully and it does not look over the top at all. It definitely is a shade darker than the Fenty. So just for reference, I'm going to swatch them for you. So you can see that the Fenty is definitely a lighter shade. It's not as dark as the Charlotte Tilbury, but don't be afraid of the Charlotte Tilbury because I have very, very, very fair skin and this blended beautifully on me. I mean, it absolutely looked gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So I really like both of these products. I think they're both easy to use. If I hadn't have seen Lisa J use this product, I probably would not have bought it. She's probably a slight bit deeper toned skin than I am, but it looked beautiful on her and so I went ahead and bought it and I used the exact same brushes when I applied this this weekend when I used it. I used the same brushes that she used in her tutorial. I used the 108 and the 107. So in her tutorial, she used the 108, no, the 107 for here. And then she used the 108 for her nose with this product and it turned out so beautiful and I did the exact same thing on Saturday and I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. So. Even though these are two kind of different shades, they both blend out. If you're looking for something super, super, super natural, I would go with this. But if I can wear this and not look crazy, if you have my skin tone, you can wear this too. It, it really blends out very, very, very beautifully. Okay, 
The next thing that I got that I hauled that I haven't used is this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Now, who talked about this? Khaki? Is she the reason I bought this? I think she is. Should we try it? Let's see. I wouldn't say I'm like the biggest setting spray person in the world, but it smells amazing. It smells floral and um, I just sprayed it on my face. And what are the claims on this? Let's see. Primes, it's a primer and a setting spray for up to 16 hours. Instantly lock in your look for makeup magic that looks just applied. Hold six to, in six to, inches, six to eight inches away. I love how all of Charlotte Tilbury's products say like it's gonna make you look like flawless and perfect. I mean, basically, we are all imperfect. Nothing can make us look perfect. It can just make us look a little better. So, I mean, I haven't used this. I don't know how it is as a primer. I don't know how it is as a setting spray, but I'll let you know. Just wanted to let you know that I hauled it. It's got a really gorgeous scent. You guys know, I like scents. I'm happy with scents and this one's beautiful. Oh, and this is the smaller size, so it was less expensive. I was happy to try the smaller size. Okay, on to the next Charlotte Tilbury product. So, I bought, finally bought the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I don't know why, I just, I'm all about the glow. I bought the shade 2.5. I think I probably could have also done fine with the shade 2.0 and I kind of wish I bought the shade 2.0 because I could have gotten the smaller bottle because they had the shade 2.0 in the little miniature trial size. And like, who really needs like a bottle this size? I mean, it is huge. I have not, I mean, I've kind of used this once, um, but I haven't really played with this product. So I'll have to do a review for you later, but I don't know you guys. I like put it on my hand and it's kind of glowy but it's no different, really, in fairness, to that L'Oreal Lumi product, I don't think. On first impression, I don't think that the luminosity that this gives is that different to the Lumi that I talked about last week um, in terms of the amount of glow. It is not a highlighter. It is kind of like a glowing primer or if you want the most natural glow on your face. But it was expensive. It was $44 for this and this was, 12 or 11. So, I mean, but I feel like although this has a pink undertone and this has a more brown undertone, they have Lumi products that are bronzy shades. That are, they have a, a light kind of bronze and a darker bronze. And I feel like the light one would look very similar to this. Again, this is just first impressions. I have not extensively tested this product, but I feel like they do give the same effect. So my goal is going to be to decide if this does something so unique that like it really is worth the cost because this is an expensive product and uh yeah this is an expensive product i'll let you know what happens with that okay the next charlotte tilbury product that i decided to try out is the um eye it's like the eye corrector in the shade fair pale shade one so i've been talking to you guys about how bad my bags are this is kind of a new phenomenon in my life i didn't really have bags i feel like aging I mean, I know we all get bags as we age, but I really never had like a lot of blueness under my eyes and suddenly I'm feeling like I have a lot of blueness. And I do feel like this Revive Cream is helping with that. I feel like it must have caffeine in it or something that helps to decrease that blueness a little bit. But I, I kind of am interested in testing out products that are going to cancel out the blue and I don't like the Becca one. Um, no shade on Becca, I know they're closing, everybody's sad about it, including me because they have the best highlighters on the planet. But um, I don't feel like their, their pinkish toned corrector is too emollient for me. It makes my um, eyeliner and my lower uh, lash mascara smudge. And so I don't care for it. I felt the same way about Benefit Boing when, when that product was out. I don't know if it's even out anymore. I think they discontinued it or they repackaged it. But both of those were too emollient and so I did not care for them. And when I was reading the reviews of the Charlotte Tilbury one, they said that it dries to a powder. And so I was very intrigued because I was like, okay, it's a corrector, but it's not gonna be super emollient and make everything on the underside of my eyes run. And so I, I wanted to try it. And it does, it's a really cool product actually, you guys. It, it, it definitely, again, this is the shade Fair. Let me show you, if you're my skin tone, it is, this is gonna be your color, Fair. The Sephora website swatches are no help at all. You have to Google it to see what the actual colors look like. But it's definitely got this peachy undertone and it definitely dries down to a, it's not drying. It doesn't settle into my lines. I've only used it a few days, but I'm wearing it right now. It doesn't settle into the fine lines right here. 
um, but it does dry down to a powder, so it doesn't stay emollient like those other ones that I don't like and it doesn't make my makeup run, which I actually really do like. So, so far I've only used it two or three times. This is not a full review, it's a haul, but I do like this product so far and I wanted to share with you my rationale in getting it, which is that it kind of, in the reviews, said that it dries down to a powder, but it's a corrector, and I feel like that's a rare quality in a corrector, which are typically extremely, extremely emollient. And for people that have like, any kind of oily skin, which I generally do, minus the last two or three weeks, it just, that doesn't work. It just, everything starts to smudge. And so I will keep you updated on how this goes. Okay guys, I got four nude sticks. If you wanna try nude sticks, their website has like 30% off. If you buy, if you buy a nude sticks on the website, it's like you can get a 30% discount the first time you buy it. And that's better than even the Sephora VIB Rouge. So I bought four because I have a problem. Anyway, I did an extensive amount of research in order to make sure that I was buying tones that looked good because it's so, 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 so hard to see color on camera. But I did buy four colors and the first color I bought was Sunkissed. I think this is gonna be a really, really beautiful color for summer. This is a, um, it's like a terracotta, but it, it's like a bronzer, but it's got a pink undertone. So it's in the bronzer category if you look online, but it definitely has a pink undertone and it looks really dark, but it blends out to just a really, really pretty pinky bronze color, which I think is gonna be gorgeous. I think it's gonna be really, really, really nice for the summer. And then let me see if I can swatch better. I clearly need to go closer to the side of my wrist. The next one that I got is a, is a, a color that you can only get on their website called Salty Siren. It is not on the Sephora website, but I loved this color. It is like the perfect peachy pink. It's not like I don't have anything like this in my collection, but these are the matte nude sticks and I was really interested to try a matte cream blush because most of the cream blushes that I have hauled that I have all sitting in a, a bucket right here next to me, kind of have more of a dewy look to them. And so I was very curious to use these. I have not ever, ever used them. I just opened them this morning when I got home from the hospital. They were at my house. So you guys are seeing them, like swatching them for the first time with me. Here is Salty Siren. It is a perfect peachy pink. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. So that one is exclusive to the Nude Sticks website. Can't get that one at um, Sephora or Ulta. The other one that you can't get at Sephora Ulta that is exclusive to the Nude Sticks website is Body Language, which is the third one that I got. And this is a pinky, how do I describe this? It is like a true pink. I think it's a true pink. It's a true neutral pink. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Such a lovely color. These ones were actually the two that I was most excited about, was Body Language and Salty Siren. I think both of them were in a collaboration with some famous person. Who was it? If you know, put it in the comments below. Maybe it was Lauren Conrad. I don't know. I think maybe it was Lauren Conrad, but she designed these two colors, and I think that they're absolutely beautiful colors. Neutral pink, pinky peach, and then a brown with a pink undertone. And then the last one I got, you can get on Ulta and Sephora, and that is called Bareback. <clears throat> and it is like a brownie pink. I'm running out of real estate on my arm here, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. So Bareback is like a light brownie pink. It is a very, very neutral pink. I think it is a lovely, lovely color. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think I'm really gonna enjoy wearing all of these. You guys, I'm like, I know, I'm like the swatcher of the world, best swatcher ever. I need to like get a lesson from Tara Babies. But um, I really think I'm gonna enjoy these. They do come with a brush on the back. I'll try it. I'll see what I think about it. It's very soft. It's like a duo fiber brush and it's very, very soft. So the nice thing about these uh, nude sticks I'm seeing as I'm trying to get them off my arm is they're not coming right off. So they are gonna have some staying power, which I appreciate. So what I don't like about these is the packaging they came in. I feel like it is very environmentally unfriendly. It comes in like a tin can with a mirror in it. And I just, who needs that kind of packaging? It's just like, I mean, I guess maybe it's recyclable. I'll look on the package to see if it's recyclable, but I just felt like it was unnecessarily bulky. And I think that they could do like better packaging. Okay, the last thing I wanna show you guys are these sandals from Sam Edelman. I bought these on Nordstrom website. I will link it below. They are so cute. Look at these adorable sandals. They are white with, well, they're cream. They're cream with like these tiny little studs. 
and I just, they're just slides. I love these. These are my favorite sandals. I actually have a couple of different ones from Sam Edelman, but they're, they are a little bit cushiony, and so I like them. They're not hard on the bottom. I have very sensitive under feet. Like, they have to be a little bit cushiony. I can't wear something that's just hard. So, I uh, think these are gonna be really, really cute just to slip on in the summer. Lovely, lovely sandals. And that wraps it up, you guys. If you enjoyed this video or found it, found it useful or helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And thanks for taking time out of your busy schedules to watch today, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.